Hey guys, ever wondered how to snag those Facebook videos without spending hours on it? Well, today you're in luck. In this video, we're diving into a quick and efficient way to scrape Facebook videos in just nine minutes. And here's the kicker. While many think this task requires advanced skills, we're about to show you how simple it can be with just three tools. Stick around because we're not just scraping videos, we're automating the whole process. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales automation and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here is designed to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for more ways to level up, don't forget to check out our school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks who are ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. So why would you want to scrape Facebook videos? Imagine you're working on a marketing project and you need to collect a bunch of video examples fast. Or maybe you're just building your own library of creative content without having to manually download every single video. Either way, doing this manually, it's slow, tedious, and honestly, it's a waste of time. But with automation, you can get it done in minutes. No clicking around like a robot, no wasting time, just results. All right, let's get started. So first, we need some tools. We're using Google Sheets as our base where all the scraped data will be stored. Appify to actually pull the videos from Facebook and make.com to automate the entire process so you don't have to do it manually. Simple, right? Now, before we jump into scraping, we need to set up our workspace. Open up Google Drive and create a new folder. Name it Facebook Scraping. If you've been following the other Facebook scraping tutorials, you probably already have this folder, in which case, you're ahead of the game. Inside that folder, create a new Google spreadsheet. Right-click, select Google Sheets, and name it Facebook Video Scraping. This is where all of our scraped video links and other details will land. Once your spreadsheet is open, head over to Sheet 1 and name the first column Keyword. This is where you'll list the search terms you want to use to find videos. You can add as many as you want, but for now, just type in a few keywords related to the type of videos that you're interested in. Now, here's where things get interesting. You have two options for scraping. You can either use a keyword or a direct search URL. The keyword option lets Appify find videos based on specific terms you provide, but using a search URL gives you way more control. You can filter results like only showing recent videos or specific types of content. So if you want to get really precise, this is the way to go. In the first column labeled keyword, you're going to type in the specific keyword you want to search for. Let's keep it simple. Just type in sales for now. This keyword is what Appify is going to use to pull in related videos. Later, you can swap this out for whichever niche or, to or topic you're interested in. But for now, we'll keep it easy. Now, let's make sure our sheet is properly structured. Click the little plus sign at the bottom of the sheet to create a new sheet inside this document. Name this one Data. This is where all the scraped results are going to land. Once you've got that, rename the first row with the following labels. Start URL, video URL, video title, description, thumbnail URL, video duration, poster name, poster Facebook profile. Basically, all the info we're pulling from Facebook is going to land neatly into these columns. All right, now let's talk about Appify. If you're not familiar, Appify is a platform that lets you scrape data from different websites automatically. Think of it like a robot assistant that goes out and grabs all the info for you. It has these things called actors, which are basically pre-built scrapers that do specific tasks. And the best part, Appify gives you $5 in free credit when you sign up, which is enough to scrape about a thousand results before you even have to spend a dime. So let's set it up. First, head over to appify.com and sign up if you don't have an account yet. If you already have one, just log in. Once you're in, look at the left-hand navigation bar and click on store. This is where all the different actors live. 
Now in the search bar at the top, type in Facebook Video Search and hit enter. You should see an actor called Facebook Video Search Scraper. That's the one we want. Click on it and open its page. Before we start setting it up, take a quick look at the description. This actor is built specifically to search for Facebook videos and pull in details like the title, URL description, and more. You'll also see the pricing info. It costs about $5 per 1,000 results, but remember you already have that $5 in free credit, so you can run at least one full test for free. All right, now let's configure the scraper. On the actors page, look for the input configuration settings. The first field you'll see is search query. This is where you enter the keyword you want to scrape. Type in sales. If you want to get even more specific, you can also add a Facebook video search URL instead of just using a keyword. To do that, go to Facebook, run a search, filter it to videos only, and copy the link from your browser search bar. Then in Appify, click the add button next to the URL search field and paste it in. This is useful if you want more control over the results, like filtering by date or specific pages. Next, there's an option to set how many results we want. Now, you don't want to go overboard and scrape thousands of videos right away because, well, that could burn through your credits. Let's keep it at 20 results for now. You can always increase it later if you need more. Just find the field that says number of results and type in 20. Now time for the fun part, hitting start. Click that big start button and Appify will begin working its magic. The scraper will now run in the background going through Facebook and pulling videos that match your keyword. Depending on how many results you requested, this might take a few minutes. So just sit tight, maybe grab a coffee or stare at the screen and pretend like you're hacking into the matrix. Once the scraping is done, we need to check the results. Head over to the runs page inside Appify. This is where your previous scrapes are stored. Click on the latest run and you should see a nice structured table filled in with all the details, thumbnails, video titles, video URLs, descriptions, durations, and even the names of the people who posted these videos. If you see a bunch of empty rows, don't panic. Sometimes it takes a few refreshes to fully load or you might need to tweak your search query for better results. Now that we have all that data, let's talk about automation because manually copying and pasting all of this into another tool is not what we're here for. That's where make.com comes in. If you've never used make before, think of it as your personal automation assistant. It connects different apps together and handles the boring work for you. Instead of manually taking the scraped data from Appify and putting it onto a Google Sheet, make.com will do that automatically. So let's set it up. First, log into make.com or create an account if you don't have one yet. On the left hand side, you'll see a menu click on scenarios. If you've never created an automation before, this page will look pretty empty, but don't worry, we're about to change that. Click on create a new scenario. This opens up a blank workspace. It's kind of like a sandbox where we can build our automation. Think of it like Legos, except instead of building a spaceship, you're building something that will save you hours of work. First things first, let's give it a name, something like Facebook Video Scraper. That way we don't forget what it's for. Now let's link it to Google Sheets because that's where we want the scrape data to go. In the middle of the screen, you'll see a big plus sign. Click it. In the search bar that pops up, type Google Sheets and select it. Now we want to search for rows, so choose the search rows action. This is going to check our Google Sheet to see if we already have data in there before adding results or new scrape results. If this is your first time using make.com with Google Sheets, you'll need to connect your Google account. Click on the Add button, sign in, and allow Make.com access to your sheets. Don't worry, it's safe. You're just letting Make.com send and receive data automatically. Now, once connected, we need to make sure Make.com knows exactly which spreadsheet to use. In the Google Sheets module, there's a Spreadsheet ID dropdown. Click on it and search for Facebook Video Scraping. That's the spreadsheet we created earlier. If you don't see it right away, give it a second to load or refresh the list. Once that's selected, it's time to choose the right sheet. We need the one where we originally entered our keywords. So in the sheet name field, select sheet one. This makes sure make.com pulls the right data when sending it to Appify. Once that's done, click save. Don't skip this or you'll have to redo everything if you refresh the page. All right, now we're ready to actually trigger the Appify scraper inside make.com. Click on the big plus sign again to add a new module. 
in the search bar, type Appify and select it. You're looking for an action called Run an Actor. This is what tells Appify to start scraping based on our input. Now, before Make.com and Appify can talk to each other, they need to be connected. So if this is your first time setting up Appify and Make.com, click the Add button to create a new connection. A pop-up will appear asking for an API token. This is basically a secret key that lets Make access your Appify account. To get this, follow the link that will take you to the Appify's API and integrations page. Here you'll see a section called Personal API Token. This is what we need. Click the little copy icon next to the token, go back to make.com and paste it into the API token field. Then click Save to lock in the connection. Now that Appify is connected, we need to tell exactly what to do. In the Actors dropdown, search for Facebook Video Search Scraper and select it. This is the scraper we set up earlier inside Appify. And now we're linking it directly to make.com so it runs automatically. Next, we have to configure the scraper settings. There's an option called Run Synchronously. Set this to Yes so Make waits for the scraping to finish before moving on to the next step. This ensures that we don't try to pull data from Appify before it's actually ready. Now we need to add the input settings. Go back to your Appify's Actors page, and this is where we originally set up the Facebook scraper. At the top, you'll see two buttons, one for running the actor manually and another for getting the input JSON. Click the JSON button. A window will pop up with some code. Don't panic, you don't need to understand it. Just copy everything inside and paste it into the input JSON field inside make.com. Make sure to right click and select paste and match style for proper formatting. Appify now knows exactly what to do when we trigger the automation. Now we need to make sure the scraper is dynamically pulling in the right search terms from our Google Sheet. Right now the JSON input is hard coded, meaning it will always search for whatever term we originally set inside of Appify. But we want to automatically update based on whatever keyword we enter in our Google Sheets. If you're using a search URL, Go into the JSON field, find the current URL, and delete it. Then in make.com, click the little Google Sheets icon and choose Keyword from the spreadsheet columns. This tells make.com, hey, don't use a fixed URL, use whatever is in the first column of the sheet. If you're using a regular keyword instead of a search URL, same thing. Find the hard-coded keyword in the JSON, delete it, and replace it with the Keyword column from Google Sheets. This way, every time we add a new keyword to the sheet, the scraper will automatically use that instead of whatever we originally set up. Once that's done, hit save again. Now, we need to fetch the results from Appify after it finishes scraping. Click on the plus sign to add another module, search for Appify and select Get Dataset Items. This is what pulls the scrape data back into make.com so we can do something useful with it. In the default ID field, we need to tell make.com which set of results to pull. Next, we need to set a result limit so we're not pulling in an overwhelming number of videos. So set it to 20 for now. This means the scraper will only return the first 20 results it finds. If you ever need more, you can update this field to a higher number and also adjust the limit inside the JSON input to match. Now for the fun part, testing. Click save, then hit run once at the bottom. You'll see the modules light up as they execute. If everything is working correctly, Appify should scrape the videos and make.com should pull in the results. Once it's done, we need to check the output to make sure everything is working properly. Click on the Get Dataset Items module and check the output results. If everything went as planned, you should see structured data with details like video titles, descriptions, URLs, and everything else we set up earlier. If something isn't working, check the logs inside make.com and Appify. Maybe the search query didn't return any results, or the dataset ID was copied incorrectly. Small tweaks here and there should get everything running smoothly. Now, time to push these results into Google Sheets. Go back to make.com and click on the big plus sign to add a new module. In the search bar, type Google Sheets, and this time we're selecting Add Rows. This tells make.com to take the scrape data and insert it into our sheet automatically. We need to point it to the right file. So in the spreadsheet ID dropdown, look for Facebook video scraping, the Google Sheet we set up earlier. And if you don't see it, refresh the list once again, check that you're using the right Google account. And once you've selected, choose the 
data sheet because that's where we want all the scrape videos to go. Now comes for the mapping process. This is where we tell make.com exactly what data from Appify should go into which column in Google Sheets. Think of it like connecting the dots. First, find the start URL field from Appify and map it to the first column in Google Sheets. This is the link that Facebook uses for the video search results. Then continue matching up the rest of the fields. Video URL to the direct link to the Facebook video. Video title is the title of the video. Description is any text that came along with the video. Thumbnail URL is a link to the thumbnail image. Video duration is the length of the video. Poster name is the person, the name of the person that posted this video. And the poster Facebook profile. This one is tricky because sometimes Appify pulls just an ID instead of the full URL. If if Appify only gives you the poster's ID instead of the full profile link, here's a little hack to generate the URL automatically. In the mapping section of make.com where you're selecting the poster's Facebook profile, type this in manually, www.facebook.com slash, and then add the poster's ID right after it. This effectively turns an ID like 12345 into a full link like this one. If you want it to be even cleaner, add a slash at the end so it always loads as a full profile. This is super useful if you ever need to reach out to a video's poster for collaborations, licensing, or even just to see what other content they have. Once everything is mapped correctly, click Save again. Don't skip this step. Make.com will be happy to forget everything you just did if you do skip this step. Now let's test it. Click Run Once and watch the automation work. You should see make.com pull in the results from Appify and insert them into your Google Sheet row by row. If the sheet updates with the right data, congrats. You've just fully automated Facebook video scraping from start to finish. If nothing shows up, check make.com's logs to see where the issue might be. Maybe Appify didn't return the results or the data set ID wasn't copied correctly. These are usually easy fixes. So just tweak things and run it again. Once everything is working, you now have a fully automated system whenever you add a keyword to your Google Sheet. Appify will scrape Facebook for videos, make.com will process the results, and Google Sheets will update itself automatically. No more manual searching, no more copying and pasting, no more wasted time. This setup isn't just for collecting videos either. You can use this data for marketing research, competitor analysis, content ideas, or even outreach if you want to collaborate with video creators. And the best part is you don't have to do anything once it's set up. It runs on autopilot. And that's it. You've just scraped Facebook videos and organized them neatly into Google Sheets. So get ready to use this system for all your video scraping needs. It's simple, it's powerful, and now you've got it all set up. If you run into any issues or need more help, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to assist. If you found this video helpful, even a little bit, make sure you give us some love. Give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more easy to follow automation tips. And if you're serious about taking your automation game to the next level, check out our school community. It's linked below and inside you'll find exclusive templates, resources, and a supportive group of like-minded people who are ready to help you succeed. Plus the exact template that we used today, it's in there, so don't miss it. Oh, and before you click away, here's another video you'll probably wanna watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with automation. I'll see you there.